to the channel, very much for the franchise guy. Coming at you again with episode number 36 of our MLB The Show 20 Philadelphia Phillies franchise. Taking on the Seattle Mariners this game here at Safeco Park Field. I don't know exactly what's called. But Marco Gonzalez on the bump for the Mariners in 17 games. He's 9-5 with a 251 ERA. 111.1 innings pitched, 101 hits allowed, a 112 whip, 24 punch out, uh, 24 walks, a 71 punch outs. Gonzalez being that uh, super low key ace here in Seattle, that borderline between underrated and overrated. As Marco Gonzalez does get Andrew McCutcheon two strikeouts, swinging right there to be Gonzalez's first punch out of the game. Three one count to Harper and Harper. Gonna take ball four right there as he will be issued a free pass to first base. First walk issued by Gonzalez this game. Now Harper batting two, uh, I guess batting 300. JT up now, 3-2 count, and JT will be issued a free pass still into first base. So after a punch out to start the inning off, back-to-back -back walks issued by Gonzalez. As the Phillies are slowly but surely bringing that pitch count up. And no runs will come across the inning as Yadier Alvarez will be taking the mound for the Phillies. Back to back into the Alvarez with a stat line. Four games, 3-0 with a 138 ERA. 26 innings, pitched 19 hits, a 119 whip, 12 walks, 2, 21 punch outs. Strikeouts to walks is not the greatest, but that ERA, that is something. That is something that will keep Mr. Alvarez in the rotation for the remainder of the year if this keeps up, at least past the All-Star break as that will be a ground ball past Alec Baum's glove. First batter of the game will reach on a single. One, two count to the next batter up, and that will be a strikeout. Poor, poor guy, Yadier Alvarez's first punch out of the game. Daniel Polka up, and Polka going to swing out a pitch too far out of the zone right there for Gonzalez's second punch out of the game. Alec Baum up now, 3-1 count, and Baum. We'll take that 3-1 pitch, which was right down the middle of the plate. Another changeup. Two left field for a double, sliding in safely for his 17th double on the season. 3-2 count now to Adam Hazley. And Hazley going to take strike three right there on a ball. That's pretty low. Not happy for Gonzalez's third strike out of the game. Alan Hansen up now for the Mariners, and Hansen's going to get that one to fall into left center field. Not even Adam Hazley's diamond defense can get there that quickly, but Hansen will get into third base, sliding head first, avoiding the tag. It's going to be his third triple on the season. Look at triples leaders. Yes, the Mariners are up there at 19 triples on the season. And now after that triple, next better up, pop fly to left field. McCutcheon's deep. He's going to come up firing, throws his body on the line right there, goes past the cutoff guy under JT's glove, does not matter. The runner will come and score off the sack fly, giving the Mariners a 1-0 lead in the bottom of the second. Tom Murphy up now. Murphy will go down via the punch out. So Alvarez limits the damage this inning, only allowing one off the sack fly. But now Bryson Stott for the Phillies comes up. And Stott struggling average-wise will draw a walk right there. Manager not looking super thrilled with that walk as Gonzalez has now walked a couple batters this game so far. Already only through three innings. Now Andrew McCutcheon up at McCutcheon. Going to be as clutch as always as he's going to get himself a single to left field right there. So first two batters will reach safely this inning. Now Harper up now, and Harper will draw his second walk of the game. So two walks issued this inning by Mark Gonzalez as the bases are now loaded for Reese Hoskins. And Hoskins, I'm sorry, that's JT Riamuto. JT will take strike three right there. Now Reese Hoskins up one, two count, and Hoskins does not miss this cutter. Middle inside, and Reese delivers that over the left field wall. His 22nd home run on the season. Reese Hoskins does it all. Manager right here for the Phillies. Super pumped with Hoskins. A grand slam is always something that's going to uplift the team right there. It's always something that gets the motivation going. Gets the players pumped here in the 2021 season. Look at that. He hits it and he just watches it fly. 
replay of this home run, 108.4 off the bat, total distance of 405 feet. Now Dylan Moore taking on Alvarez, and Moore goes down looking via the punch out right there. And now back to the Phillies, 3-1 count to Bryson Stott, and Stott will draw yet another walk. So a lot of players draw multiple walks, it's sitting as Gonzalez pushing 80 pitches so far, only through th four innings. But DJ Stewart for the Mariners comes up and will fly out to left field as it is a 1-2-3 inning for Yadier Alvarez and the Phillies. Bryce Harper comes up and guess what? Another walk for Bryce Harper right there. Harper just not getting anything to hit. Gonzalez refusing to throw to Harper. Nothing that Harper can put into play. Nothing he can strike out on. But this time the manager has had enough right there. Shake of his head, you know, that clap right there. No shoulder bump this time, so Gonzalez is not mad with the manager. He's mad at himself, though, as he could barely get through five innings, and he is just not having a good game. Four strikeouts in the day, a bunch of walks, but in will come Nestor Cortez Jr. in 16 games. He's got 21 innings pitched, a 5.06 ERA, 15 strikeouts to 14 walks. So that command not there for Mr. Cortez as we should be looking to probably hopefully get his count up a little bit. But the 3-1 count though with one out of the inning will be taking the left field for a single. So Cortez already not getting the job done. Daniel Polka up now full count and Polka will draw a walk right there. So that's going to even out that strikeout and walk total between the two for Mr. Cortez as the Phillies yet again have the bases loaded with only one out. But after the play, Yadier Alvarez finds himself back on the mound, and Alvarez gets himself another strikeout, his fourth punch out of the game through four and two-thirds. Now Tom Murphy, one-two count, and Murph will go down for Alvarez's fifth punch out of the game. Five strikeouts through five innings for the young Yadier Alvarez. 2-2 two, two count to Scott Kingery, and Kingery will swing through the fastball right there for the second out of the inning, as Cortez now gets one more strikeout than walk. Greg Garcia up now, and Greg Garcia going to line one to third base with Alec Baum, who snags it on the fly for another 1-2-3 inning for the Phillies. It's back-to-back 1-2-3 innings as Alvarez has shut down this man in his lineup after that rough first inning. Taylor Williams in now for the Mariners in 19 games. He's 2-1 with one blown save. 16 innings pitch, a 594 ERA. 18 punch outs to three walks. So he's got some good command right there. But JT up now, and JT going to watch strike three go by for Mr. Williams' first punch out of the game to end the inning. So Phillies still lead 4-1 to one as the Mariners have silenced the Phillies' bats for once. 1-2 count to Shed Long, and Long goes down via the punch shot right there. That's going to be the sixth punch out of the game now for Yadier Alvarez. DJ Stewart, 2-2 two, two count, and Stewart goes down via the punch out to end the inning. So two strikeouts in the inning as Alvarez has raised his show total to seven on the day so far. Going into the top of the eighth right now, the Phillies still lead 4-1. Brandon Brennan comes in now in 53 games, he's 2-5. 13 holds, a 50 innings pitched. Not a great ERA, almost 5, as he's going to get Daniel Polka right here. Strike out looking for his first punch out of the game. And now two outs inning, a 3-2 count, and Alec Baum will draw a walk. So this is definitely a game of walks now for the Phillies, as they just keep getting issued free passes. Adam Hazley up now, and Hazley goes down on the changeup, swinging right there. So, Brandon does get out of the inning unscathed after issuing a two-out walk, but two punch outs in the inning. Brandon is not, you know, he's not uh, too upset. Alan Hansen up again, and Hansen goes down via the punch out. So, it's going to be eight strikeouts through seven and a third innings for Yadier. Now, with one out in the inning, we have Kyle Lewis up, and Lewis going to set a fly ball to left center field. Hazley can't get there in time. Harper's going to get it off the wall. Kind of dribbles on the warning track. Long, well, I'm sorry, Lewis will go to third base. 
Now that's going to be a triple his first on the season right there for a six game hitting streak. And 3-2 count out Tom Murphy. And Murphy goes down via the punch out. So that's going to be the ninth punch out of the game for Alvarez. Murphy not too happy as Dylan Moore gets a hold of this one. Sends that one to center field. Alvarez over 100 pitches. Gives up the second run of the game right there. With now two outs in the inning. So we're in a tight jam right here. Do we let this batter hit? And yes we do. It's going to be a fly ball to left center field. It's going to be a ground rule double. Keeps the runner at third base, though, so a run does not score. Our manager has had enough of this. Not Joe Girardi comes out here to pull Yadier Alvarez. Alvarez had a very strong game, but with a pitch count over 100, time to go to the bullpen. But with one out in the inning, we're going to bring in two outs in the inning. We're going to bring in Hector Neris, hopefully for the four-out save right here in 32 games. He is 0-3. 25 for 28 for save opportunities. 372 ERA. 33 punch outs to 12 walks right there. So Neris, pretty good for himself so far. Hopefully gone for another all-star appearance this year. As he does get the strikeout right there to end the inning. Now Alan Fletcher comes in for the Mariners in 37 games. He's 1-4. Three blown saves. 43 innings pitch and 824 ERA. 39 strikeouts to 16 walks. And a 3 2 count to Scotty K. And Scott Kingery. Gonna single up the middle right there. Just hit the dirt and kept on rolling to center field. So Kingery on base now for Andrew McCutcheon up. And McCutcheon sends this one to deep left. And that one will be out of here. A no doubt shot for McCutcheon. His 23rd on the season. Andrew McCutcheon has 23 home runs on the season. You have to be kidding me right now with how good of a player Andrew McCutcheon is. And if you don't have Andrew McCutcheon in your franchise modes, uh, he's worth the cap hit. He is a goon. He is a monster. He kills the sim. But... Bryce Harper right here, there you go, draws himself a walk, his, what is that, his fourth, third walk of the game, third or fourth walk of the game, as JT's going to get that one down, diving center fielder could not field it, as Harper's now on the run, he's turning third, he's going home, JT's in at third, and Harper will slide in safely, so, five run lead now for the field, as Austin Adams comes in to hopefully stop the bleeding, in 36 games, he's three and one, 17 holes, 36 innings, pitch to 3, center 2, ERA, 66 punch outs, only 18 walks. Pressure brought this guy in first and everyone else that they brought in this inning. And the 1 2 count to Reese Hoskins, and Hoskins sends that one to deep left center field. That one's going back, and that one's out of here as well. Another home run this inning. The 23rd home run of the season for Reese Hoskins. Second home run of the game. He had a grand slam. He has a two-run home run. Six RBI game for Reese as he is seeing the ball very, very well. And remember I said they should have brought this guy in first? Yeah, I lied. They should not have brought this guy in. Poor guy. Alec Baum up now to two count. Baum mercifully ends the side as Adams gets the strikeout to end the inning. Christopher Sanchez comes in now since we're no longer going to save opportunity. In 19 games, he's 3-1 with one save. 27 innings pitch, 293 ERA, 37 punch outs, 2, only 8 walks. Had a stellar debut with us a couple episodes ago where he won 3 strong innings pitch as he's going to get his first bat of the game to strike out. DJ Stewart now 2-2 two -two count. Stewart goes down via the punch out right here to end the inning. Phillies win this game 9-2 against the Seattle Mariners. Oh, you hate to see it, fans in Seattle. The Phillies rattle off a big-time win right here in Seattle. They started a couple of episodes ago. They were struggling to fight for first place. Right now, they are holding on to first place by a couple games right now. But Yadier Alvarez, very strong performance in his rookie season. Spencer Howard is currently leading the way in Rookie of the Year. But Yadier Alvarez is definitely a dark horse Cy Young candidate after, definitely after a game like this.
but 9 to 2 is the final score. 8 hits for the Phillies, 5 hits for the Mariners. But if you guys are interested in submissions, sure hit that like button. If you miss any episodes, you post down below. And to next time, YouTube, peace out, rock on, stay super classy, and have a great day, I guess. I don't, I don't know what you like to do.